Oh my god, what is in my tactical monthly subscription tack pack this time? American Buffalo Knife, a 556 muzzle brake, a tack pack dry bag, 25% off Rex Silentium, Target! Guess what, guys? If you use the code donut at tackpack.com, then you get a free grab bag. And you only have a couple of days left to sign up for the November package that's worth $130. They're doing pre orders for the special Christmas box right now worth $300. Tack pack! You only got a couple days, go sign up! Hi everyone, Donut here. I'm joined today by my guest, Clyde Mays, my EDC, Walter PPQ, and Texas. Today we're going to be taking a look at some very angry cops. Let me ask you a very serious question. How could a police incident even be a police incident if you didn't have a woman screaming her panties off? And who else would it be other than a gigantic Karen? Imagine a Karen. Who do you picture? Probably this woman. Now imagine you're a police officer, you just got your discount Chick-fil-A, you're having a great day, and you get out of your car to this. Okay. Okay. Tag me. Rip my friggin', rip my friggin' chain off. Wait a minute, I know this guy. My wireless mic just died and I have no AA batteries, so the audio quality is going to be sort of different from this point on. Back to who that guy is. This guy right here is current judge and former state senator Mark Grisanti. Surely because he's a judge, he'll conduct himself in a calm and respectful manner to police. Okay. Yeah, you got it all, I can. All right, set Let's talk a little police stuff now. When you pull up to a scene and it's complete chaos and you got two Karens in each other's faces doing this little thing right here, you want to separate the two parties and figure out what's going on. Looking through the body camera, let's try and figure out what happened from the words of the people on scene. I think we can assume that everyone on scene is shit housed and the cops wish they were shit housed also. Fortunately though, we do have an officer on scene who speaks their language. Back. Back. We've separated the parties, now we can get to the root of the problem. And everybody's all four cars. Right. City vehicle on their driveway, their driveway. Ah, all this over cars that were parked on the street. In the criminal justice system, parking based offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. And everybody's all four cars. Right. City vehicle on their driveway, their driveway, my driveway. They the fucking they're they're right. So they know I call the cops. No they come out. You got a fucking problem? You got a fucking problem? I'm going to let you know what's going on. We'll talk calmly over here. Okay. This fucking truck okay. stands okay. right here. Listen, he's a fucking, like a fucking cat in his brain or something. Huh? Oh, thank you, Karen. Mayor Brown needs to have a tack in his brain or something. Makes a lot of sense. Anyways, we got our first name drop. Mayor Byron Brown, the mayor of Buffalo, New York. Ooh, name drop number two. Wait till my son hears what you did. Stop from the yelling. Camera. This is going to be a problem for you. Three of them I don't care. Okay, cool. Then get over here. I sure f***ing am. She's good. She's good. She's good. Looks like the officer went in to detain, not arrest, the problem of the situation, which is the boss Karen there screaming her head off and riling everyone up. It seems that the Karen has calmed down and has stopped screaming. And what happened to the officer who went in to detain the problem? He gets assaulted by Judge Grisanti. Grisanti. Who cares? Hey. Hey. We're not doing this right now. Hey. We're not doing I'll this right now. My daughter and my son are both Buffalo police officers. I know, I know. And you I'm calling right now. Dude! You would not want them put, putting your hand, somebody putting their hand. Dude! You are not going to fight a cop. Hey! You arrest my 
fucking wife are gonna be sorry. And all in one sentence, he says, my son and daughter are police officers, and if you arrest my wife, you're gonna be sorry. My son and my daughter are both police officers. Even more name dropping. I don't care. Oh my God, are you kidding me, dude? I'm so done listening to you scream. Why? Because it's the truth. It's no, because I want to hear everybody talk. 15 years of I bullshit. want everybody's story. You're cheering them first. You I'm will never stand. Listen. Ask any neighbor. Listen. That doesn't mean I'm not going to listen to you. I'm you need you to get the... Say. If you don't get the car server right, right now, to you're going to have a problem. We're not doing that. We're not threatening that. He needs to get the cough sopper. She's going to sit in the back of the car right now. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do for he right now. He needs to get the cough sopper. <laughs> You have no power here. But wait, there's more. We're, we're, we're not going to do that by your demand. She's going to sit in the back of the car. She's going to be in cuffs. Okay, and that's what's going to happen for right now. Let us, work, let, let us just work this through. The cop says, I'm done listening to you scream. I think we all are. I think now we may be able to figure something out because so far we've been on scene for a couple minutes and we've got nothing. Hey, listen. I'm good friends with Byron Brown. Ooh, we flexing again? That's what, like like nine or ten on the flexing and name drop counter now? Huh, another cop just walked up. Looks like a supervisor, maybe? He looks kind of angry. When you come back, that's all it is. Mm. I'm talking like this because you're punch me in the face and I'm getting a fat lip. I think you're kind of talking like that because you're shit housed and you're not fooling any of us. I'm going to ask some of these people because I, I want oh, some trust. Because, no, I no. mean, I'm sure you understand I'm fair. getting... Get around in the car and I'll bring her inside. And I didn't mean to tackle you, but I mean, you kind of threw my wife down on the ground pretty hard, and I don't appreciate that. I understand that. All right? I really don't. If, that, if I would do that to your wife and you're outside, you'd do the same thing. Sure, well, if you were a police officer okay. and she was screaming no, in my, my face. No, my daughter's a police officer, and I know what you guys are going through right now. And trust me, my daughter's a police officer, my son-in-law's a police officer, my brother, my, okay. my, and my son's a police officer. And if approaching her like that, she would have done the same thing. No, you grabbed my wife from over there and dragged her over here, which was not necessary. Wait a minute. Something's familiar about this officer enhance 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 mother of god okay. so you need to chill out about that i'm just well, I'm i have just a giving, camera so that I'm it's all documented i don't care about your camera just to give you a little constructive criticism dude okay Okay. Let me give you some constructive criticism. You want to drop another copper's name? You want to scream about you know Kamal, you're the mayor? I feel like Rich could knife hand me through the computer screen if he wanted to at this point, so I'm just going to let him have it from here. Why don't you shut the fuck up? Sorry, and you keep that quiet. Shut the goddamn mouth. Put your hands right back. Put your hands right okay. back. Okay. You want to be difficult? You want to you say you all these coppers and I know all these things? No, I don't want to make this look dirty. Is that what you want to do? I so how am I helping you now? How, I, tell me. I, tell me how can I help you? My how? Listen, shut, listen, shut up and let me oh, talk geez. to you. Okay, shut up. Shut up. And let me talk to you. Since you had so much to say and you touch a cop. So let me talk to you. God. Let me talk to you. God. Quiet. Quiet. No. You're not done talking yet. And I'm not done talking to you. So let's be quiet, Dad. So son can get some words in. You're saying everybody's fucking name and dropping everybody's name with a badge. And you're expecting a special treatment. How does that look like to everybody That's in this good. environment right That's now? Good. It doesn't look good. I know. And then you right. grab him? You're what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Why are you still over talking? You're over sorry. We're going back over to my car. No, no, I'm just no. saying you're over so right. We're going over here now. Yes. You smell like sheep. And you didn't like the And then you touch this fucking car. What is wrong with you that you your daughter's name? Wasn't that just a delight? The woman finally stopped screaming so we can thank our Lord and Savior P. Barnes for that one. Rich comes in and makes the judge feel like a tiny little baby boo-boo bitch. And everyone lived happily ever after. Is this going to become a continuous series now where Rich ends up on the news like once every couple weeks? And I get to go in and laugh at him with you guys? Because it's awesome. Rich, don't get into trouble and stop getting into fights with random homeless people, but I mean, I gotta say, it's good content. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna be back on my Twitch stream very soon. I, uh, I kinda, kinda moved to Texas. <laughs> I got to me a house now. Office will be here soon. Regular videos will be coming back soon. Way more content now that I'm out here with like BRCC, Demolition Ranch, all those cool guys. Until next time, everybody, please have a fantastic day.